Welcome back to Josiah Plays, the Book of Unwritten Tales. Uh, I'm gonna look at Ziggy the Invisible Squirrel here. Uh, Ziggy's doing well, I think. <laughs> Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, the Crystal Ball, the Showman himself. World's Fattest Hamster. And this is his rolling wagon, I guess, his caravan. Wow! The wagon is like a house on wheels. Probably wasn't cheap. I definitely wouldn't want to get into a punch-up with the pony that pulls this wagon. Yeah, that's quite an impressive wagon, isn't it? It's rather huge. Alright, it's time to talk to Whopperman. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A young gnome. And he's got outstanding manners to boot. What brings you here? My name's Wilbur Weathervin. I'm from the White Ridge Mountains, and I have to speak to the Archmage. Well then, young Wilbur, I'm Willy the Wondrous. What can I do for you? <laughs> Willy the Wondrous. What's going on with these cages? You're a showman, aren't you? Are you the showman Master Marcus told me about? I don't know which showman your Master <laughs> Marcus told you about, but I am a showman. Willy Whopperman's the name. Wow. Some people call me Willy the Wondrous. Do that. But I only run my little fun fair on the side. First and foremost, I'm a fortune teller. A fortune teller. Awesome. Master Marcus says you're very rich. Can you really predict the future? Can you really predict the future? Of course. People come from all across the land to ask me for advice, and I give them good tips in exchange for good gold. Hmm. And what do they want to know? They want to know, for example, if the price of bread is going to rise. Then I tell them, yes, the price will rise. Then everyone buys lots of bread as a precaution, and the price really does rise. <laughs> Fascinating. Or the women want to know what next season's color will be. I always know. So if you say huh. that the ladies will be wearing green next year... Then everyone wears green. You must be an excellent fortune teller then. The best. <laughs> Would people pay me so much gold for my prophecies if I wasn't? Excellent. So self-fulfilling prophecies. Sounds like he's got a good racket going here. Uh, do you think you could maybe predict the future for me? Could you predict my future for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. I see that I can. <laughs> wow. But I don't have any gold. Not a problem. I perceive that today it's going to be on the house. Oh, Ooh. nice. Weird. So, come on. Om. Oh, Pocus, Pocus, I see the future. What do you want to know? This seems really legitimate. Is this adventure going to have a happy ending for me? So what's still going to happen today? What's the next question I'm going to ask you? Uh, <laughs> if you can see into the future, tell me what question I'm going to ask next. You... well... Uh, oh, the connection's broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Your question was perhaps a bit too... specific. My gift is very... erratic. I see. Mm, thanks just the same. That was very... interesting. Ooh, strange. Yeah, you've got a gift, all right, but not necessarily for divination. Why am I looking at this again? The chance of guessing the right... Okay, hold on. Let's talk to him again. The showman wears strange clothes. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Hmm. He sets down whatever he was writing there. What's going on with these cages, Willy Wepperman? These cages, what are they for? 
Oh, the animals used to be part of my fair, but since I started earning my money with fortune-telling, they're just a hobby. Apart from the pigeons, of course. What's with the pigeons? The pigeons deliver my prophecies throughout the land. I work mainly for people I don't know personally. Ah. Why? Well, how shall I put it? Should a prophecy not quite come to pass, then it's better to be far away, don't you think? <laughs> uh, I think there's something not quite right about that squirrel. Bertram, he's usually fat, isn't he? You sure there's nothing wrong with the squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me. Hmm. It's actually walking over here. Nice. <laughs> You're all right, aren't you? Wow. I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Uh, how do you know that the squirrel's pink? How do you know the squirrel is pink? Have you ever seen it? I haven't, but I'm quite sure it's pink. You come across the pink ones more often. Oh, really? Come to think of it. How can it have a color if it's invisible? <laughs> the zoologists aren't quite sure. You could say it's still a mystery. You could say that. The invisible pink squirrel. All right. Um... Talk to him again. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Bertram, he's hugely fat, isn't he? Uh, excuse me, but your hamster, Bertram, isn't he a little overweight? A little. Of course. He's the fattest hamster in the world. But isn't the cage <laughs> just a touch too small for him? No. Bertram likes it cozy, and he doesn't move around all that much. Imagine that. <laughs> wow. What, what's the deal with the squirrel thing? Well, anyway, Master Marcus says you're very rich. Is it true that you're very rich? Why do you ask? Do you want to rob me? No, of course not. Quite right, give me your gold! Being a fortune teller, shouldn't you already know that? <laughs> As a fortune teller, you, you'd have to know if I wanted to rob you, wouldn't you? I like you. Of course I would know. I think... No, you don't want to rob me. What do you want, then? I need a lot of gold to be accepted into the mage school. A pile of gold? Uh -huh. hmm. I do have that much gold here, but it's the top prize from the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. I can't just... Give it to you? Of course not. That would be too easy. So, can I have a go at the Wheel of Fortune? Could I have a go on the Wheel of Fortune, please? With pleasure. There we go. Wheel of Fortune time. How does it work? As you can see, there are four different colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You tell me which color the wheel is going to stop on. If you manage to get it right three times in a row, then you win the jackpot. Mm. Isn't it rather unlikely that someone would be able to guess the right color three times in a row? If it was easy, then the top prize wouldn't be a sack of gold. I guess that makes okay. sense. Which color do you want? Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's going to be... Blue. It'll stop on blue. All right, then. Off we go. <laughs> oh, sadly, that was completely wrong. Oh, no. Do you want to try again? Uh, yeah. But just one more try. Be my guest. Which color do you want? Uh, this time it's going to be blue. It'll stop on blue. All right, then. Off we go. 
Wheel of Fortune. No. Oh, sadly, that was completely wrong. Uh, Do you want to try again? Uh, maybe it'll be yellow this time. But just one more try. Be my guest. Which color do you want? I'm feeling yellow. It'll stop on yellow. All right, then. Off we go. Watch, now this time it stops on blue. <laughs> goes oh, sadly, that was completely Goes one wrong. click past the color you I picked. you want to try again? Uh, nope. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Maybe I can rig the wheel somehow. Or predict the future and see, you know, what, what it's going to be. Like, can I... That's the crystal ball from the main... Uh, okay. It's almost impossible to predict the correct segment three times in a row. I'll be old and grey before that happens. It's almost imp... Okay, uh, let's see... I don't know why I'm trying to use slime on it. Let's look at this. The showman's crystal ball. It doesn't seem to work very well. At least the fortune teller's predictions aren't all that impressive. I can't just take the crystal ball. The showman would notice it missing. I see. Let's talk to him again. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Well, what's the deal with the squirrel? Are you sure there's nothing wrong with the squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me. Something's going on with this invisible squirrel. You're all right, aren't you? I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Uh, hmm. I don't really know. I've never seen one before. Well, they're very shy. Doesn't seem like I can actually use his distraction to do anything. You know. So what do I want to do? I thought I'd be able to ask him about cards, but... Those are the cards that Mr. Shieldhan gave me. Guess not. So there's the Wheel of Fortune. small tree, the rabbit. Um... Okay, let's go back into the town. Try to figure out something here. Let's talk to the merchant again. Uh, but I'm out of time for this video. So thank you for watching. Josiah plays The Book of Unwritten Tales. I'll see you next time.